Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video because I'm really sick and tired of all the morbidly obese women claiming that PCOS and insulin resistance is an excuse to be morbidly obese and um, to not do anything about your health. Um, it's not. Um, PCOS, and I have PCOS, and insulin resistance, I kind of, it's, um, I don't have diabetes, I have um, excess insulin, but it's, uh, it's pre-diabetes, kind of, and it's a genetic condition that predisposes you to gain weight. But once you're medicated, there is no excuse to remain fat and obese. Um, so, I see the, I, you know, you've seen my videos, I was on the verge of morbid obesity, part of it because of uh, my antidepressants, then I lost all that excess weight, and then I started on the current medication, and I am at a, not at a healthy weight yet, because uh, I'm still overweight, but I'm no longer obese. I went from type 3 obese, just right on the limit, to slightly overweight. That's my current status. In a few months. Why? Because I always had a healthy diet, a healthy relationship with exercise, even though this year I haven't been exercising. I need to be honest. I'm not exercising and I am still losing weight. Why? Because I always kept a healthy diet. And that's the difference between me and all these plus-size, morbidly obese women who blame their uh, problems on PCOS and insulin resistance or um, any of these issues. Once you are medicated, there is no excuse for you to be overweight and bear in mind I'm not even medicated for PCOS I'm only medicated for my excess insulin um, that could develop into insulin resistance I'm only being medicated for that and there's a huge difference I lost a lot of weight so these women are Make, basically making excuses for themselves and misinforming other girls, telling them that it's okay to be obese because there's nothing you can do to lose weight. Newsflash, there is. If you cannot lose weight, despite how much you exercise and having a healthy diet, try however you can, and I said it in previous videos, it's hard to get a diagnosis, but try to ask them to test you for diabetes try to ask them for test your to test your thyroid and your androgens and uh, it's hard <laughs> I've been 15 16 years waiting for a diagnosis and uh, I was just slightly overweight when I started basically when I hit puberty uh, I started gaining an excessive amount of weight despite exercising a lot and um, once I started on this medication, the weight started coming off. So these women that say they are medicated and the weight won't come off uh, because it's PCOS and whatever. And I still have problems associated with PCOS. I'm losing a lot of hair. I still have androgens that still reflect on my menstrual cycle and reflect on other things but they're no longer reflecting on my weight. Why? Because I keep a healthy diet. PCOS, insulin resistance or excess insulin only affect you if you're not medicated. If you're taking your medication and keeping a healthy diet, you will not gain weight. In fact, you will lose extremely fast even without exercising. So stop giving excuses. Yes, you have a medical condition, but once you're medicated, it is no longer an excuse and you need to work on your psychological health and your bad eating habits. Because PCOS and 
uh, excess insulin or insulin resistance is just one part of the equation. If you're not eating a healthy diet, no amount of medication is going to help you. So stop making excuses. Stop teaching girls that they cannot lose weight, that it's okay to be fat because some people just are fat. No, people are not just fat. It happens because of hormonal imbalance of bad or bad eating habits. But you can take action and you can take care of your body. Just don't eat unhealthy diets. And if you have a healthy diet and can't seem to lose weight, go to your doctor, ask them to test you because there is always hope. And don't let the fat acceptance movement tell you otherwise. These ladies are making excuses for themselves and telling you that there is no solution. Yes, there is a solution. And if it's hormone related or any way related to your body, there is medication that will help you lose weight. Nothing is irreparable unless you don't want to solve it. If it's a genetic condition or some health issue, you can lose weight. The only way you're not going to lose weight is if you don't want to. Anyway, bye. That's it for this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.